Thank you very much. Uh, Mr Juncker, I'd appreciate if you'd listen to my question. Um, it is now generally accepted that when the euro was launched, it lacked even the most basic structures to deal with the crisis situation. Ireland was one that was hit with a crisis situation. On Monday, ECB President Mario Draghi was in this chamber. I pointed out that the report of the Banking Inquiry in Ireland stated that over nine billion could have been saved, but for the threats of bull and bullying of his predecessor, Mr. Trichet. The nine billion is gone, but there's an even greater injustice happening in Ireland just now. In 2009 and 2010, in the absence of any official structures to deal with troubled banks, the ECB, the Central Bank of Ireland and the then Irish Government colluded to create 31 billion to bail out the failed creditors of two insolvent European banks. This was done not to save the banks, they were non-systemic, but to protect the euro itself, to protect the entire eurozone banking system. It worked, but now the ECB insists that the entire 31 billion must be taken out of circulation by our central bank. Already we borrowed and destroyed 6 billion. Our central bank still owns 25 billion, awaiting the same fate. On Monday in this chamber, I asked Mr. Draghi if he would work with us, the Irish MEBs, to help end this obscenity. I got no reply, Mr. Juncker. Today I ask you, will you work with us to help end this obscenity? You Thank talk you about much. what's important, the refugee... Mr. Flanagan, Mr. Flanagan, you are overrunning your time and you're not speaking to the point of, on the agenda. I'm sorry. One minute now for Jean Lambert. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, President. Um, I think your microphone was on a little long there. <laughs>